We're not the only people that has got a problem with this man. Uh, if you talk to Terry and uh, uh, Anne on the other side of the driveway there, I think they've you may got get something. Some there may be some information, information there. So, there, uh, you know. Yes, yeah, so maybe. Yes. First encounter we had with him was a very nice one. It was just before Christmas, and he bought us a box of chocolates and introduced himself. And then it all turned to custard from there. As a rule, Terry and Anne don't receive too many rocks through their windows. Instead, they are regularly visited by the authorities, summoned at the drop of a hat by you-know-who. We end up with um, environmental services, noise control, um, police, the dog ranger. You know, anybody that will listen to him, you know, he'll, he'll do it. And he knows just how far to push them to get them to come, you know, and why they listen to him, I'm back if I know, you know, because they're just little wee things, but I guess they've got to follow them through, so. He, he, he's just an angry little man looking for a place to do something. And unfortunately, we seem to be, and Cecilia and Hensley seem to be copying it. Basically unemployed. Basically, he's unemployed, he's home all the time. Mm. Not, and, not that, you know, that's a bad thing, but it mm. doesn't look like he ever wants to do anything other than just sit there and see how we can get some of the services up here. Like, he, he just wanders off down the drive laughing to himself, you know. <laughs> uh, you know, 